Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am Lutra FM, and this is episode four of the Fight Club Pro series. Um, thank you, first of all, to Damon, um, uh, who I spoke to on Facebook. He showed me how to um, use my video editing software properly, so you can now basically see this, and I, I don't have to keep adding screens, and I can just simply just click on it, and you'll see it straight away. So yeah, thank you to him. Make it made it a lot easier for me now when it comes to this. Um, so yeah, so let's just show you where we where we were last. So we had our show here, um, Techers, and uh, we did all right. We got a sixty rating for the Amari Sam Bailey tag team match against Liam Slater and Derice. Uh TK Cooper defeated Kid Like Us two. They got a sixty nine. Uh, Killer Kelly defeated Aaliyah James was probably the worst match of the night, but uh, still did all right. And then we have we have a new stable for people who don't remember. We have a new stable called the British Empire, which is Kenny Williams, Joseph Connors, Mark Billington, and Thomas Billington. So um, the three of them defeated Morgan Webster and the Hunter Brothers. Got a sixty-seven rating. Ginny and M Millie McKenzie had the best night. Uh, had the set, uh, best match of the night. Alongside the TK Cooper Kid Lycos match, uh, 69 rating, and then Kenny Williams retained his title against Ashton Smith that only got a 58 rating, but that was more to, to do with the fact that the match end that I picked backfired on me. So, yeah, so that's good. Uh, that our attendance was rubbish for that one, probably because the show rating was rubbish. So, we need to do better in this show now. Called, um, where is it? Where is it? Project White Wall one there you go so um i don't think there's anything oh we, we've made a little bit of money through that i think it's for because of that alliance because if you remember last time we just quickly show you uh oh no oh i haven't i haven't yeah where is it we love it. yeah sorry yeah so we've met because we managed to form an alliance and we managed to get promotions like pro wrestling gorilla ring of honor Wrestling Revolver, Defy, Deadlock, Pro Wrestling Eve. So um, we did well there. So I think we made some money from for that. So let's just check our finances side of things. Uh, yeah, so this month we... Sponsorships maybe did well. Where's Alliance? Oh, no, we made... We made oh, there we go. We made 4,249 last month. So that kind of gets us back here in out of the red. Um, we'll probably get back in the red though with the next show that we'll do, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, thank you for everyone that's been following us so far. Hopefully now I know how to play this, I know how to edit this a lot better. Hopefully it won't be, it'll be less annoying for you lot to watch because I can imagine it was probably quite annoying when you couldn't see what I was seeing. So yeah, so hopefully now we won't have any issues. Oh, I need to... Uh, backstage incident. Uh, Johnny Kidd uh, entertained the locker room by organising a poker tournament. So that's nice of him to do that. Hopefully none of the wrestlers lost any money. Right, so I think we need to do the main event first and then work our way backwards. Uh, we'll do Kenny Williams. Who's he going against today then? Right, let's have a look. Oh yeah, by the way, the one thing I will let you know, I've signed Blue Kane. So Blue Kane will be getting uh will be getting action on here. Uh who hasn't wrestled him yet in a singles match? Has Morgan Webster wrestled him? Uh, uh Jack Stars. He hasn't wrestled anybody yet, but uh Maybe Luke Jacobs in a singles match. Right, there we go. Um, I don't know about how that has worked the crowd. The specifics that the aim is the match is to get the fans involved and engaged, the workers concentrate more on their audience interaction. Okay, let's try that one. Hopefully that won't backfire on us. Oh, I oh, don't. Kenny Williams needs to be the winner of that. Right, 
I'll do a little promo before as well. I'll have Kenny Williams on the microphone. Luke Jacobs on the microphone. Six minutes. Right, so next match we'll have Kid Lycos in a singles match. We just need to figure out who he's going to wrestle. So go heels, male, uh, maybe Luke Dragon Phoenix, maybe him. I feel like he's already. We'll go with Luke Dragon Phoenix. And we'll give him a win because he's lost the last couple. And we'll do high spots in that one, so it probably won't work out very well. But okay, so they want me to make the match. So there we go. So that's that done. Right. Uh, we need to do tag team match now. But we haven't got many tag teams, so I'm just going to do this one. Yeah, we've only got three tag teams. So we'll do that. We'll give the Hunters a rest this show. And we'll have the Billingtons retain. That's that done. Right. Um, how are we doing at the moment? Okay, so we'll do Ginny. We'll have her versus somebody. Not Millie, because we had Millie last show. Uh, Killer Kelly. And then we'll do storytelling for that one. Right, how long we got left now? 89 minutes. All right, so we've got to do some more matches. Right, let's have a look. Joseph Connors. There you go. We'll put Joseph Connors in a match. Who's he going to go against? Male. Baby faces. Blue cane. There you go. We'll have him against Blue cane. Probably won't be the best match. But it'll be funny just to have Blue cane in there. We'll do it as a comedy match. We'll, do it, we'll try that as a comedy match. I don't, I've never done a comedy match before, but we'll... We'll see how that goes. Oh, okay. Uh, I'd advise against putting in a comedy match. Oh, okay. Right. So we just need to change the length. Change the aim. We'll put that as... Uh, what should we put that as? Can't have it as a regular because we need a different match aim. Can't have it as comedy. Have it in mayhem. We'll just do mayhem. See what happens. Uh, okay, so Blue Kane can't even do a fifteen-minute match. So we try ten. Hopefully, we can do ten. There you go. And then we'll do another match just to get the crowd going. We've got to pick our two best workers that we've got left with what we've got. So Morgan Webster and then Liam Slater. We've already done Morgan Webster versus TK Cooper, so we can't really do that again. So we do that and we'll go lift the crowd. Oh no, we don't do lift the crowd. Uh high spots, maybe. Uh Liam Slater can't do a match that long. Just gonna knock it down to 15. Oh, he can't even do a 15 minute match. That's not good, is it? Right, 10 minutes. There we go. All right, let's have a look at the booking analysis. Not having any matches aimed to steal the show. So we've got to have one of these matches that steal the show. Uh, 
So I just have that one to steal the show. Even though it's only 10 minutes long. No, that would not make sense, would it? Right, uh, that one. Ginny versus Ke Killer Kelly. We'll have that as steal the show. Uh, Ginny and Matcha Lent. Okay. So knock that down to 15. Oh. Right, so we need to do... We need to change that, maybe. Okay, right. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Let's see how we get on. Oh. So, no chemistry at all between these two, which is not good. The match was too short, while well, I had no choice on that one. Anyway, Morgan Webster won, got a 48, 46 range, so... Uh, 31 rating for the match between Joseph Connors, who defeated Blue Kane. The crowd becoming increasingly restless and noisy at the match, becoming more and more overbooked, it really turned them off. Joseph Connors was held back by the chaotic nature of the match. Uh, the match was too short, so... And Blue Kane was just absolutely rubbish in the ring. Bear with us two seconds. Sorry, the dogs just slid down. It's it's difficult making content when you've got a puppy in it. Right, let's go. Right, Ginny Killer Kelly had a 63 rating match, which is good. The match was too short though. Um, but yeah, still decent though. 73 match. 73 rated for the tag team match with Dynamic Duo and Destination Everywhere. So maybe I might transition this into the tag team feud because the Hunter Brothers and uh, Jimmy Hunter, he's just knackered. Um, the Billington Brothers, 74, 78, bloody hell, they're doing well. They're getting better and better every show. So, uh, Kid Lycos defeated Luke Dragon Phoenix, got a 59 rating. Um, Mad Mad. Madman Manson should have done a better job as road agent, so we'll probably have to get rid of him now, which is typical. Uh, the angle between Kenny Williams and Luke Jacobs only got a 33 rating. Uh, the match got a 50 rating, so that's a shame. I was really hoping that would do better. Uh, oh, Luke Jacobs got an injury through the match. The match was poorly placed. The crowd was already hot. And okay, so I'm learning as I go along. But anyway, got 53 rating. We've got 63 people, so it wasn't too bad. I thought the attendance wouldn't be that good. So uh, yeah, so not too bad. So what I'll do then is I'll come back in a minute with the next show, and then we'll see how it goes from there. And we're back with part two. Um, and let's just see how we get on. Hopefully we can do better than we did last show. Fingers crossed. It kind of hinders us having the, the having to have three match aims. So I might just change the product after this show, I think. Just so it doesn't uh, hinder us too much going forward. So... Um, but yeah, I feel like we've uh, we've done a lot of combinations in our single wrestlers so far. So I'm gonna try and do some fresh matches today. So we'll go female, we'll go Candy Floss versus Chardonnay. Uh, actually, let's just check. Are both of them healed? No, that's fine. Chardonnay. So that can be the opening match. We'll just do 15 minutes. Put that. Uh, let's do another women's match. We we'll do Lana Austin. She's not wrestled for us yet. She's a baby face, so we need a heel to go against her. We we'll do Nina Samuels. I can go fifteen minutes. Uh, let's do another match. Let's do tag team match. Normal tag team match. Uh, let's have a look who we've got. 
we've got oh we've got quite a few more tag teams i forgot about that oh yeah we've only got four tag teams though so um we'll do that tag team there versus uh no we'll do yeah we'll do that and then what we'll have is we'll try and have steal the show for that one whether it'll work i don't know We'll have Mark and Thomas Billington retain. So that's that. Um, I need to push that up there. We'll do an angle afterwards. No, we won't. Ignore that. And then we'll do another tag team match now. And we'll do the Hunter Brothers This is the new element, which is Joseph Connors and Kenny Williams. So Kenny Williams is not defending his heavyweight title in this show. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, work the crowd. No, not work the crowd, because that might backfire on me. Uh, storytelling. Where is it? There you go, storytelling. And then, right, how much have we done? We've done the 78 so far, so still got plenty left. Right, we'll do another match, and we'll do Ginny versus Danny Luna. Leave that one. Uh, um, well, I'll have one as still. No, we won't have that one still show. We'll just leave that as regular. Right. So we've done 100 minutes. We've got at the least 12 minutes left. So we'll just do one more match. I'm doing Kid Lycos versus. Uh, Liam Slater. No, no, no. Let's try Tiger Ali because I don't think he's wrestled yet either. We'll have Kid Lycos win that, and then what we'll do for that is we'll do high spots. Right. So they're happy with that. Let's start the show. Kid Lycos, two, defeated. Uh, I, th I think I've ballsed up the... I didn't want that as the opening match, but oh well. Um, let's just shuffle that around. But that got 58, so it wasn't too bad. But yeah. We'll have the Hunter Brothers versus the new element as the main event then. And then we'll put that one down there a bit. We'll have... This one to calm the crowd down before uh yeah. Hopefully that'll work. Right. So this match got a 67, which was really good. Ginny won. And uh the match got the crowd hotter. Ginny was the standout performer, 76. Lena Austin lost to Nina Samuels, got a 43 rating. This match was a little too short, so I have to do a longer match next time. Um, Destination Everywhere lost to Dynamic Duo. Got 80 rating. Yes, get in. That was a good match. I have no idea why that was such a good match. Did I, did I do a specific match aim? I don't think I did, did I? I think it was just a regular match. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it's just a regular match. If I've got that wrong, let me know in the comments section, please. Um, but yeah, 80. I'm really happy about that. So uh, that got the match bu uh, the buzz in. And then we calmed the crowd down a bit. Um, yeah, as planned, this match brought the fans back down again. So it did what it needed to do. Could have been longer. But yeah, 52 rating for that, which ain't too bad. Candy Floss won. And then the main event got 70 rating, which isn't too bad. The new element defeated the Hunter brothers when Joseph Connors pinned Lee Hunter. Lee Hunter was really off his game. Joseph Connors and Kelly Williams show excellent chemistry together, so that's good. 
So if we're ever to if we're ever to um, take the title off Kenny Williams, at least we know that we can have him and Joseph Connors as a dominant tag team. So that's good. Let's have a look, see how the show did. So we did 63 people, so that's pretty good attendance. And we got a 70 rating overall, and we've also improved our popularity. So I'm really happy about that. Actually, uh, it's annoying I've only got three of them here. I wanted to give everyone in that tag team match a well done. Um, like Loku. It's all right, my dog's just decided to turn up. Um, come here. Right, stay there. We've got Thomas Billington. And then Mark Billington. There you go. Happy days. That was a good show. That was a good show. Right then, I'll be back um, in a minute with the next show. Just bear with us. And we're back. Um, we've uh, we're doing all right financially now. That alliance has helped us. Um, five thousand two hundred thirty pounds available. We made three thousand and fifty six pounds last month. So if we have a look at look at the financial side of things, um, and then we look at alliance. So yeah, we got paid three thousand five hundred and forty four pounds last month, which is a little bit up from the month before. Um, so yeah, so we're doing well. We've managed to get, we got six pounds in merchandise, uh, 689 in sponsors, and then 665 in performances. So yeah, so we're doing well. And we've got our next show now, which is called uh, Fight Club Pro World Warriors tonight. So let's see how we do. What I'm thinking, um, for the big for the main event, I'm thinking a big four on four, uh, war games match. I think that's the way to go. We'll put that first, and uh, there we go four versus four. See what see if we can find war games on here. Should be able to. Oh, war games is not on here. Should we try? We'll just do tables, ladders, and chairs then. That'll be fun. So we'll do Kenny Williams, uh, Joseph Connors, Mark and Thomas Billington versus Kid Lycos 2. Um, let's have a look at the baby faces side. Morgan Webster probably. And then we'll have um, the Hunter Brothers. No, we won't. We'll have Michael. I oh, know we can't have Michael Oku because he's injured. So we'll just do Jim and Lee Hunter. Twenty five minutes. A big crazy match. We'll just do car crash. Um, we will limit Jim Hunter because he can't do this type of match. So hopefully that will fix that. Uh, they're revising against it. Get bad reaction from the fans, but we're going to go for it anyway. So uh, that's that one done. So then we'll just do some one-on-one -on -one matches now. We'll do um, just do a normal one-on-one -on -one match with Ginny and who should we put her against this time? Uh, Lana Austin or Lena Austin, probably. That's probably how you pronounce it. You need a winner. We'll do Millie McKenzie versus somebody now. Oh, we can't do Millie McKenzie. Michael Oakley is available, actually, so I, I apologise. I got that wrong. We'll put him against... Uh, TK Cooper. Oh, no. So he is, he is injured after all. So we'll do... Oh, attempted to do Blue Cane. No, we'll do Ashton Smith. Ashton Smith versus TK Cooper. 
We'll do storytelling for that one. Um, right, what else do we do? Do another women's match. Danny Luna, she's pretty good. Versus, no, I think we did that one last show, didn't we? We do a Leah James. So that'll be the next one. Do that one. Um, right, let's do. Should do it. Do like a four-way singles. Uh, we'll do Jack Stars. Uh, Liam Slater. Connor Mills, I think. And then uh, Doris. Do that. And that can uh, we'll, we'll have that as. Uh, oh, I don't know. Actually, no. We'll just leave that as regular. Right. We haven't got any matches that steal the show. So do we? No, no, we don't do that as steal the show. I think we'll just do this one as steal the show. I think. Then we'll go all that match as well. Uh, I don't know. We'll change this. Liam Slater is not able to do a match this long at this pace. So, uh, we need another heel. Luke Phoenix, then. Probably have the same problems with him. No, that's fine. Right, then, let's see how we do with this show, then. I mean, I'm like I said, I'm trying things out, see what works. Oh, uh, yeah, right. 65, that wasn't too bad. Um, I thought it'd be a lot worse than that. Jack Stars wins that match, which is good. The match got the show off to a strong start. Jack Stars. Oh, no, no. Uh, Doris was the standout performer, 67. Danny Luna versus Aaliyah James. Um, it got 54 rating. Uh, Aaliyah James isn't rated very well. Danny Luna is a little bit better than her. She got 56 rating for that. The uh, TK Cooper defeated Ashton Smith. Um, got 59 rating, which is not too bad at all. TK Cooper being the standout performer that match. And then Ginny versus Lana Austin, or Lana Austin, I don't know how you pronounce her name. Um, got a 73 rating, which is good. That's, that's way better than I thought, but obviously Ginny is amazing. So the two standout performers in, in, a, in our promotion is Ginny on the female side and Kenny Williams on the male side, followed by probably Joseph Connors on the male side and Kid Lycos. Uh, I haven't really got any stand-up performers on the women's side, but maybe Millie McKenzie could be rated a little bit better. Oh, look at this for a main event. 29. <laughs> well, this was a disaster. But anyway, British Empire won. The match uh, dragged at the end, so um, they couldn't do all that pacing. A little too long. Yeah. Sometimes you try things out and it doesn't necessarily work. The match got the crowd buzzing, though, so that's good. There we go. 41 rating. I think it was because of that 29. If that if we didn't got that 29, we'd have got a lot more. We've still got this, we got the same attendance as the last show though, so that's good. So uh, um oh well, no, let's do a speech actually. I'm gonna give Ginny some praise. And Lana, I suppose. Oh yeah. There we go. So that's that show done. So um, what I'm going to do... Oh, sorry. I, uh, there you go. Uh, what I'm going to do is call it a day. Um, thank you for everyone following. And there'll be another episode up um, probably in the next couple of days, maybe tomorrow. It depends, really. So, uh, but yeah, and hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll be back.
soon. All right, all the best. Bye.